You know, the first thing was working with our casting director, Kate Dowd, who did this, you know, exhaustive search of young people in England. And we didn't really want to cast from kids with headshots and agents, so we, we went to a lot of schools. And, uh, and I was very, very, um, tried to be really rigorous about the fact that, yes, they had to be great actors, that was a given, but they really had to strongly resemble these three extremely unique human beings. And so, thanks to Kate doing this exhaustive search, we did find these three extraordinary kids. And then in the rehearsal process, um, I, it was a, a process of them spending as much time together as possible. We scheduled kind of field trips. We went to the location and played. I mean, a lot of it was not about, we talked about the script and the themes and the characters. We ran a few scenes, but it was mostly um, just talking and getting to know each other and spending intimate time together. There was one nice kind of acting exercise, you could call it, where I had the um, Carrie Kira and Andrew play all of the scenes from the first act and the 12 year old kids watched that. So that maybe kind of gave the older actors a kind of sense memory of, of having actually played those moments. And it was kind of a sneaky way to get the kids to see how very experienced actors might, what they might do with that material. Um, you know, that's it really. I mean, once we were all on, once we all kind of ha were working from the same roadmap after the rehearsals, these actors, including the young kids, are extraordinary. They went and they did their homework they're extraordinarily professional, these six actors. They brought dimensions to the character that none of us could have possibly imagined. At that point, it was my job to kind of film it well, maybe. And, and I, there was very little discussion during the shooting. I mean, I'm kind of a color freak, and I feel like it's an underused tool as part of the film grammar. And uh, I think you can communicate a lot with color. And, and uh, I also felt, because at, at heart, this film is about this idea of our mortality that I forbade, forbade the color black from the film because I just felt one of the things about Kazuo's book that's so beautiful is that it's so beautifully told, you know, it's, um, and it's ge there's a gentleness about these truths that he's imparting. And so I wanted to uh, make, almost announce that at the beginning of the film that this is a gentle film and the colors will be gentle and, um, yeah, and then we, we were just kind of rigorous about the color palette. Um, the first part of the film uses these very unique colors that you almost only find at boarding schools in England, and we, we stole a lot of them uh, from Lindsay Anderson's If, uh, the film If. I don't know how many of you have seen this great film. And we kind of called it the If palette. And, and then, the, so the second part of the film is mostly, I kind of broke it up into that it's school, farm, hospital. That was the movie you know, youth, young adulthood, old age. And uh, so color sort of drains from the film as it goes and um, the middle part is all colors in nature and the latter part of the film, colors are kind of starting to drain away. And uh, I don't know, we thought a lot about it, so I'm glad you noticed that. This is the filmmaker I want, wa always wanted to be. This is the filmmaker I've always worked to be. I got, I fell into music videos and at the right time, I was like in the right place at the right time and realized that something was brewing and that it was a way to earn a living and do these very creatively free short films, learn the craft of filmmaking, but it was always a means to an end. It was always a way to, it was like an elite film school or graduate school to just learn the craft. And I tried to take each of those assignments very seriously because people were spending a lot of money and it was important to them. I, I was providing a service and I took it seriously and tried to make the best things. But it was always like sketches for me for when I wanted to maybe finally take up a brush and make a painting. The great advantage of it was that I became very comfortable with the craft side of it. And so when it came time to make films, I didn't feel stressed out about that side of it. And I can try to put my attention towards the more important things when you're making a film, which I think is telling the story well and trying to stay out of the actor's way as much as possible. Um, so, you know, and, and it's a very, you know, music videos are a different agenda, you know, they're rock songs or pop songs and they're marketing tools and so that's how I made those. A Kazuo Ishiguro novel is a different assignment and you, you shift your rhythm and your sensibilities and uh, try to adjust.